Hey guys, it's Alexander again, and this week I'm talking about the Moment Anamorphic Lens for the iPhone. Let's go. This is an anamorphic lens made specifically by Moment. They are a smartphone lens making company that specializes in lenses and accessories. This video is not sponsored by Moment. I honestly thought that this product was just really cool and I wanted to see what it could do. Moment does sell a wide variety of lens options for smartphones, but I wanted to see just how cinematic I could get my iPhone 11 footage to look. And what better way than to shoot anamorphic? I made this video because we are in a growing age of smartphone filmmaking. Right now, people are wanting to make films, but it's too expensive to go out and buy either a Blackmagic, a Sony a7 III, or even a RED or a C300 or anything in that category. But almost everyone has some kind of smartphone device on them or accessible to them. So let's find out if we can truly capture some cinematic footage on the iPhone without having to break the bank. Special note for you guys, in order to mount one of Moment's lenses to your iPhone, you need to also have one of their phone cases. And this allows you to have a nice strong connection from one of their lenses to your iPhone. Unfortunately, I didn't know this when I bought the lens, and so when it arrived, I was super stoked, and then I realized that I couldn't shoot anything because I couldn't mount the lens to my camera. So I had to go back on Amazon, buy the case, wait another three days, and then shoot my cinematic content. So learn from me, don't make the same mistake, buy the two at the same time. So some quick basic info on what I shot. I shot on my phone, the iPhone 11. It's not the pro, it's just the regular. And all footage was shot in 4K with the Pro Movie app. This is a free app that allows you to really dial in those camera settings on your phone like shutter speed, ISO, focus options, and many, many more. Having these options is the first big step in capturing a truly cinematic look. One great thing that I love about this app is that it allows you to de-squeeze your anamorphic footage before getting into your editing bay. You still have the option to de-squeeze it later, but I just love having the convenience of de-squeezing it all within the app. So one great way that I found to transfer your footage from your iPhone to your Mac is to just simply plug in the charging cable to both and then open up the image capture app that comes stock on all Macs and to open up your phone and just transfer the files straight from there. Now for shooting, in an ideal scenario, it's great to have some kind of variable ND filter also on your lens and that gives you a bit more control over your exposure and also what you're doing with your shutter speed. In my case, I didn't have one, so I just adjusted the ambient lighting because I shot indoors. And with all this, it allowed me to keep my shutter speed around 1 50th of a second. Additionally, I shot with my ISO as low as possible. We are on the iPhone, so our sensor is not that great and noise is definitely a problem. So try and keep that ISO as low as possible for me. I kept it around 100 or lower and that was ideal. I don't know if I'd call this a formal review of the anamorphic lens by moment, but these are just my thoughts based on what I was able to capture. So first up, lens flares. We all want to shoot anamorphic just to get those beautiful, cinematic, dreamy lens flares. Let's just be honest, we all want that. Now using this lens, I found it both not easy to get these lens flares, but also not difficult either. So definitely if you want them there, you have to be a bit more intentional with your lighting. But to be honest, I think this is actually a great thing because you don't want to be shooting a scene anamorphic where you really don't want to get these flares. So when you do want them, you have to be a bit more intentional with your lighting or your camera angle just to make them happen. And the great thing about that is that when they do happen, they feel more subtle, they feel more natural and organic, and they don't distract from your scene. Now the overall build quality of this lens, I'm not gonna lie, it's really solid. It felt really good. It felt more like a hard metal or some kind of hard plastic, but it did not feel cheap at all. Definitely, I can see this lens lasting a long time with just normal use. But if you dropped it onto a hard surface like concrete, I can see it breaking. But to be honest, that goes for almost any lens. So one thing that came as a surprise to me was that you can actually adjust 
the way the lens mounts to your phone. So that way you can shoot anamorphic either vertically or horizontally. And that's pretty cool. Now lastly, because we're shooting anamorphic, we are getting some lens distortion because we are widening the frame. Now I didn't do any kind of formal test, so this is all based upon my opinion. I didn't notice any kind of vignetting or any kind of weird distortion when shooting people. So overall, I liked the way this lens looked. Now before I end this video, I wanna leave you with one last thing. If you are thinking about shooting something on a smartphone, whether it's a music video, a short film, or something cinematic, and you wanna get that look, I truly recommend you use some kind of stabilization, either a slider, a gimbal, or a dolly, or something that really stabilizes that image that will go to great lengths at getting you that really cinematic image. And guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, guys, and also leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and feedback. And last but not least, guys, if you have not yet, please subscribe to the channel. It does help support it, and it keeps you guys updated each week when I release new videos. Also, if you want to check out this lens, I have a link for it in the description below. Please check it out. And guys, that is it. I'll see you next time.